Welcome back to DDO 10 Minute Tips. All right, we left off just outside the Kenneth Manufacturer for the Redemption Adventure. We're going to go ahead and go on in, and I am going to um, not show you the whole thing because I don't want you to. I don't know, have an advantage, and there's lots of uh, videos out there that people are doing that you may look at adventures for. Okay, now being a thief, my hit points aren't that great, so I'm bringing in a uh, hireling here. And we're just going to go through this part way. Dungeon Master told us a little bit about the place. Come around and doorway's been boarded up. There's no other way out of here, so we're going to have to go through. Now, if you notice, it's lighting up. I've got the red crosshairs, which means it has to be broken. So I'm going to switch over to uh, something that's designed to do bludgeon damage. Save my weapons. And then go back to my sword and rapier. Now, a lot of the monsters you encounter will have their version of kryptonite and also have uh, may have specific resistances so and it's all changed and hopefully it's not going to do it. but when you see the, the numbers floating up above your head, you're being damaged. When it's floating up above uh, your opponent's head, uh, it means they're being damaged. And the color of the damage indicates whether they're susceptible, resistant, or just normal reaction to. Okay. Some breakables. Which add up. All right. Hidden door, maybe. Let's see what we come up with. There we go. Cursor's in the shape of a door, so we can open it. And breakable and valve. All right, looks like we have acid or something going on over here. Now, whenever you come across a valve, a lever, or a switch, use it. Because down the road, you may not have the option, or you may have to run back and find out how to disable something. So, okay. So if you notice the acid or poison that was spraying out is not happening, but it is here. So we need to find a way around it, or go through it, or stop it. Now we also saw something come up and say about danger. We sense danger nearby. Okay. Found a control panel. The blades disabled it, the blades stop, and we can go in and see what's going on in here. And more. There's more blades. And an iron defender, which will meet those guys fairly often. Search again. And just remember, even though you may be able to spot these, depending upon your character type, Unless you actually have thieving ability, or thieving as one of your classes, or be an artificer, you're not going to be able to 
disable. All right, now looking at our map here, it looks like we're coming around in a circle. And there's acid there. Looking at the map, yes, it's a circle. Now, finding hidden doors adds up to experience points, so we need to see if we can disable this other asset. So, we saw, we saw we've got some experience points there. Now, here in the beginning, as you're building a character, um, it's always wise to do the breakables because you find useful things. Once you get up to about 20,000 Platinum, you may not need to do breakables so much. But you can find other things. Now, we're going to do a little bit of long-range sniping here, I hope. Okay, yeah, there's an Iron Defender. Walk by. Took him out. So. Now, maybe this will be a little bit of a long. No, we'll split this up because I can make it through to a certain point. All right. We have some uh, shrines here if we need. But it's a matter of getting into. There's no gates. I'm not getting any senses of anything going on here. So we go on in. So it's on the inside of this. Long two. Something going on over here. Okay, now bear in mind, this is a level one dungeon and I'm a level two character. So dealing with these iron defenders is pretty much short work. Now, we have a gate here. It's locked. Back here, saw another door as we were running around. Okay, let's see what's on the other side here. Because looking at the map, it looks like that other door went to where the shrines are. Alright, there's a gate, a chest, and iron defenders spray oil, and I fell down again. Okay, the door is locked. And with all this oil, I'm not going to be able to stand up do anything, but generally there's a way around. So let's go on in and see what happens. Okay, this is going to be a stopping point here coming up. Alright, we are at the shrines we saw from before. 
And sometimes you have to look because they blend in, but here's a vowel. Remember what I said about doing vowels? Okay. Always do them as you go through. That way you don't have to back up. Okay. That gate's open. Let's see back here. And they're still there. Alright, so we've reached our limit here. And we'll pick up in another episode from where we left off. Thank you for watching. And remember, my friends, keep your weapons clean and sharp.